I'm, you know, really ticked off and horrified to find out that there is no black box warning label on Zopaclone. Um, they had me on this drug for 40 years. Zopaclone, another name for it, is uh, Imavane. Now, from what I hear, um, there's two things I've heard why it's not prescribed in the United States and other countries. One reason is it's a patent issue and other countries don't can't sell it because of a patent issue. Another thing I heard is they can't sell it because it's so highly addictive and people are abusing it. I don't know which one when I don't know which one of those is true, but it is sold as Lunesta in the United States. And from what I understand, Zopaclone is twice as powerful as Lunesta. So, you know, the starting dose in Canada is twice the amount as it is in the United States. So if your doctor is prescribing you two of them, you're taking, technically you could be taking four times as much as someone in another country. This drug is dangerous, prescribed with benzodiazepines. It's dangerous, prescribed with opioids. It's dangerous drinking and taking it because it slows down your breathing so much. This drug almost killed me getting off of it. Nobody knew how to safely get me off of it, just like nobody knew how to safely get me off of clonazepam. I was stopping breathing with Zopaclone, just like I was clonazepam. It's an incredibly powerful drug. The half-life is very, very short compared to some other drugs. Um, terrifying. Uh, there's no black box warning label on this, and I, I plan on making a bit of a stink about it. Um, Canadians are dying from this drug. Pharmacists have told me this. And from, you know... Doctors prescribing other powerful respiratory depressants with Zopaclone. I guess enough people have to die first. I was... Zopaclone caused severe sleepwalking in me, and I sleepwalked for decades, literally tortured by this drug by my doctors. And they all have the printout, the write-up, the monograph, of all, all, everything about this drug, every doctor has that. And every doctor, it says, discontinue immediately if your patient is sleepwalking. I had severe, severe sleepwalking for decades from this dirty drug. Not one of my doctors, somehow, no doctor here could figure it out. And more than it, you know, a, a dozen doctors knew how bad I was suffering from this dirty drug. Am I ticked off? Yeah, I'm ticked off. Um, and I'm running into people online, like young women, and their moms have died in their beds from taking, being prescribed Zopaclone or uh, Zopaclone and opioids or Zopaclone and benzodiazepines. And the doctors are pretending not to know what has happened. And the coroner reports, the coroners are not, the coroners aren't saying, you know, potential drug interaction, potential prescribed overdose. The coroners are saying possible suicide, um, natural causes, unknown causes. So, yeah, I'm ticked off.